and Jack Sparrow. I'm a pirate. Savvy? All hands on deck! We've fallen behind. We need one mermaid. You're killing her. I'm a bad man. Again! Pirates of the Bitter Edge! Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties. All right, so Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties is the fourth installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. That's right, there's four of these movies for some reason. I'm not a fan of the second or third one. The fourth one's not that good either, so let's just talk about it. This is the complete my re finished watching reviews of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I, for some reason, watched these movies again. This is actually the first time I've seen Pirates of the Caribbean 4 since I saw it in theaters back in 2012 or 11, whenever it actually came out. So, as I said, I'm not a fan of this franchise. First off, I mean, w this movie is a lot like a standalone story and you know what that's not in theory that's not a bad idea because the thing I love about the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie was it's a standalone story and in the second and third one it's like oh we gotta make a we gotta make a trilogy rah, 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 rah. and I'm like no 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 the fourth one tries to make a standalone story and the fourth basic premise story is you have the you have all these pirates. You have Jack Sparrow, Blackbeard, Barbosa, all are, all going after the founding youth. You have other factions, I guess, or civilizations like the Spanish in there. You have the English in there, and that's basically what the movie's about. They're all trying to get the founding youth. Blackbeard's trying to get the founding youth to save his life. As I said, I'm not a fan of this movie. I do think it's better than the second and third one, but still not great. Johnny Depp starts repeating lines he had in the other three Pirates movies. The one actor that I really like in this movie is Ian McShane as Blackbeard. I mean, Ian McShane is one of those actors who's whenever he's in anything, you're just you're just lucky to have him. I think he's a a great he's great for the movie. Now I don't think uh, he makes the movie any better. I think he's just kind of a you know you have a. Just because you have a one decent actor there who's actually given a decent performance doesn't mean it makes the movie better. Uh, the girl, I mean, the girl's fine. I forget what her name is, but I don't think she's going to be the new one. And they have they kind of set this stuff up for the next one, and I don't guess they're going to do that. Overall, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides is not better than the last one. Or it's not better than the first one, but it's not as bad as the second or third one, so... There's not really much to say what's good about it. The stupidest thing about the entire movie is the sword that controls the ship. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a movie of all time. And, you know, it, bought, it makes my, my head just hurt when you realize how much money it took to actually make this movie. You're just like, what the hell did they spend money on movies for? My gosh, why would they spend that much money on a stupid Pirates movie? And I'm like, that costs more than making a Star Wars movie? What the hell? I guess something about making movies on water just are, it's really expensive. I'm going to give Pirates of the Caribbean, All Stranger Ties, same score I gave the last two, a C+. They're very ant movies. I'm hoping the next one actually shocks me and surprises me and makes me love this franchise again. But right now, I'm just going to sell on this on this franchise. Have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties or where you lost combo? Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. And also, make sure you check out the Dark Easy podcast, the Dark Easy show on my podcast. You can check it out on iTunes, on YouTube, on SoundCloud, or on Speaker. So just check that out. I have a, It's a weekly show of me talking about the movies I talk on here. So if you want more in-depth conversation of the, of this Pirates of the Caribbean, make sure you check out the Dark Easy show. And until next time, all too easy. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hot.